Hi, I'm Kate Hong with TV Insider, and we are speaking with the cast of Kaleidoscope, uh, the new really interesting thriller from uh, Netflix. We crack the safes, extract the bonds, and no one's the wiser. There is no one that can get inside this vault unless I want them to. So, Giancarlo Esposito, you play Leo Pop, who's the mastermind of this heist thriller. Uh, but it's an interesting structure. It takes place over 25 years. The episodes are all named after a color and people can watch them in any way they want. Tell us what the heist is that he's masterminded and why it's so important to him. Uh, this heist is important to Leo because, you know, look, we all have maybe our, our, our golden ticket, our ticket out. Uh, what's wonderful about this particular show and the way you can watch it is you never know when the heist takes place. There are things that happen before the heist and after the heist. Uh, but this heist is important because it's based on a heist that actually took place during Hurricane Sandy, a heist that um, was of $70 billion in unsecured bearer bonds. It changed history in America in that after this heist, uh, the U.S. government um, made it a law that all bearer bonds had to be secured. Uh, so I love history, so that's a big part of it. But Leo is, is um, this heist is important for him because uh, we all think of a heist as a certain heist, but this is also a set up. So it's not only a heist, but a set up. So when you think about, you know, revenge and you think about um, relationships between human beings that have long history together, Leo, Pap has a long history with um, Graham, uh, who is eventually becomes uh, Roger Salas. Uh, there's a vendetta. We don't really know it. Um, but if we watch it in a certain way or any way we watch it, that gets unfurled. And um, nothing ever good comes behind uh, vengeful thinking and vengeful mm -hmm. action. So uh, it, it's, it, this show is terrific to watch. And you, you've hit on some great points. And, um, we look forward to the audience's reaction when it comes out January 1st. Well, you mentioned Roger Salas, played by Rufus Sewell, and Toddy Gabrielle, he's your character, Hannah Kim's boss. Mm -hmm. um, and every, yeah, everyone's linked in this story in wow. some way, but um, Hannah's also part of the heist. What does she bring to the table? Um, I think that Hannah brings a outsider's perspective because Hannah, um, you know, she's not part of the heist team. Hannah, uh, she works for, for Roger and is one of the people that is designing and trying to secure this vault. Hannah also has her own motives um, and her own driving forces um, that sort of can skew her loyalty and alliance to Roger at times um, and change her perspective of Roger and sort of change the way in which she looks at the things that Roger has done for her because, you know, Roger sort of took her in, was her, 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 her pseudo father figure um, and has given her a lot, has sort of helped her build the life that she has now. Um, and so Hannah really, I think, wrestles with that in, in terms of Roger and wanting to make the pasts that both her and Roger have right, um, while also trying to still express that gratitude and hold that gratitude there. Um, so Hannah has a lot to carry, I think, through this, um, has many hats to wear, um, and has to figure out how to balance and still maintain herself and win in the end for herself. Right. And it, it follows different points in her career. It's just fascinating. Joy Courtney and Rosalind LB, you play a married couple and they are Imagine. criminal masterminds. Like what a power couple. Um, I'd love to hear from you on on what what these two <laughs> what these two bring to this heist gang. What? So I love um, power couple. <laughs> power couple's a great word. I think mastermind is very generous. Hey. Particularly for Bob. You have skills. He has skills. I don't know if we'd classify him as a, deep thought. as a mastermind. <laughs> Collectively, maybe they create a... one mastermind. Right. Well, maybe he's like, um, I mean, he's very muscly. He's very he's got... adorable. Yeah. He's so yeah. sweet. He's the brawn, you know? He's good to have around. She's the brains. <laughs> I'm the brawn. Well, she is extremely brainy, so maybe we can start there. Um, tell us about her background and, and some of the ideas that she brings to the table when it comes to this extremely complicated heist. 
I know. Well, Judy is a very smart cookie, um, and I think that she, it was very interesting playing her because she is someone who's clearly very intelligent but has grown up not really wanting to use that intelligence in a predictable or structured way or kind of wants to use it in more of a self-preservation sort of uh, deal. Um, and I think that there was something about the potential of this heist or this job was like Judy finally, I think, being able to bring everything that she has to the table. Um, and she finds, besides Bob, who's very appreciative, I think she also finds um, a lot of support in Leo, played by John Carlo, who kind of sees her potential. And uh, yeah, it was really, it was very fun just playing an unashamed geek as I am myself. It was very <laughs> nice to get to, like, yeah, I'm not that much of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're also, um, they're very passionate with each other. They can't keep their hands off each other. And that causes like, do you think there's a little bit of jealousy um, among the other people on this heist team? I mean, I, I don't know. What's your take on that, Jai? Well, there's definitely an interesting relationship, you know, when it concerns uh, Peter Mark Kendall's character, Stan. He has his own kind of skin in the game, I think. Um, in you know them be, that being his you know feelings for Judy, uh, so there's definitely some some friction there, um, and I think not to speak for Rose, but there's some conflict for Judy and all of that as well, which which adds an interesting layer. And um, you know Bob certainly has jealousy over that. I think he would like to be able to offer her uh, some of the things that she probably sees in in other you know in someone like Stan, but. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know that anyone... I mean, probably they all feel like Bob doesn't deserve her and have no understanding of why she's keeping him around. But, um, you know, that's uh, the beauty of, you know, damaged individuals getting in repetitive cycles and having self-worth issues. Well, I wish them all the success in the world and getting what they want. Thank you so much for speaking with me. Kaleidoscope premieres January 1st on Netflix. For more insider videos like this, click subscribe.